Welcome back. While the Supreme Court was celebrating the new legal year, the Lagos State Judiciary, which has been tagged the busiest judicial division, was also celebrating on the same day. We have highlights up next. As part of activities to mark the 2019-2020 legal year, the Lagos State Judiciary held special services. The services were held simultaneously at the Cathedral Church of Christ Marina and the Lagos Central Mosque, both on Lagos Island. Judges, magistrates, lawyers and judiciary workers turned out for both services, which provided an opportunity for the members of the bench and the bar to dedicate the new legal year to God. After the service, they all moved to the State High Court in Igbosheri, also on Lagos Island. Here, the Chief Judge, Justice Kazi Maluba, inspected a guard of honor and then caught the new legal year cake. The Chief Judge later told journalists that the Lagos State Judiciary is poised to improve on its services to the people in this new legal year. I said quick dispensation of justice, a corruption-free society ju judiciary, and as well improvement in delivery of services to everybody. We are going to be firm, we are going to be effective, and the government is trying to assist us with necessary tools. So we are poised to move ahead. Lagos has always been at the forefront, and we want to continue to do better every minute. The next day, Tuesday, September 24, the Lagos State Judiciary, as part of its resolve to deliver on improved legal services, conveying the stakeholder summit with a theme, admissibility of confessional statements, imperatives of trial within trial. The summit, which was chaired by Justice Abiba Biro, a judge of the appeal court, drew a rich crowd of judges, magistrates and lawyers from both divides, the prosecutors and the defense lawyers. Criminal justice is a very essential part of our, of our work day today as judges. And it is perhaps one of the fundamental areas in which we connect more with the general public. It is the way uh, criminal justice administered that people complain about. I've had just people come to me about the way some things are done in terms of um, um, adding of bail applications and all that, because this is what concerns people directly. The issue of trial within trial. All of us are familiar with it. There's been, a, there's been a raging controversy for some time now on whether it is necessary or not necessary. Um, the time it takes for you to conduct it, this has been the benefit of it. Which one outweighs the other? A trial within trial usually arises when in the course of a criminal proceeding, a defendant objects to the admissibility of an extrajudicial statement he made during interrogation by security agencies. The lead speaker, senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Kemi Pinero, examined the necessity of the trial within trial. Drawing also from the practice in other jurisdictions, Mr. Pinero believes it's time to do away with the practice. It was reported last week that the Federal High Court the Lagos Judicial Division alone had over 10,000 cases, and I know that Lagos State will even best that record. That is substantive cases, yet they are still being called upon to deal with some cases because the trial within trial is a sub case. It does not seem right. What do I recommend? I recommend, first of all, members of the bar. I don't see why a prosecutorial counsel cannot attach to his proof of evidence the video recording, the clip of the video recording or the flash as part of his proof to enable the defense counsel to make an informed decision whether to oppose. I do not see any reason why defense counsel cannot, at the onset, immediately upon receipt of the proof of evidence, immediately give notice that I will be objecting to the admissibility of this statement. There is no provision in the rule, in the evidence act, that precludes the court from taking trial, preliminarily, on the admissibility of that document, 
or giving direction. The prosecutor, prosecution, in the course of this trial, the main trial, lead evidence as to voluntariness. Defendant, in the course of your defense, lead evidence as to the involuntariness. Such that when I give my judgment, I will first of all determine the contest as to admissibility. Where I reject it, that ends it. I will proceed to my judgment. That will clearly save time. It will create less burden on the court. And what we have, the bit force that we have, will not exist. Secondly, I recommend judicial activity. A judge or magistrate must take control of his proceedings. We must adopt the formulated concept that is established in civil proceedings, even in criminal proceedings. There is no reason why a judge cannot call upon the prosecution to produce the video recording if there is any, at the earliest opportunity. There is no reason why a judge cannot call upon the defense counsel. Please represent to me whether you intend to oppose any of the prosecutorial documents so that I know I can schedule your trials. This judicial activism will enable us to achieve more meaningful and substantial justice. I also recommend the statutory intervention. We need to immediately amend the burden of proof in our Evidence Act. We need to also amend the standard of proof all the speakers at the summit also shared their perspectives. That approach will completely stop the problem of uh, induced confession. We can do it. If we need to employ more magistrates, we can do that. That is an excellent solution. So all the other, you know, trying to find other solutions, uh, you know, involving practice direction and so on and, and so forth, those ones have other constitutional obstacles to climb. There are many things the federal government is dipping its hand into constitutionally, but they are, I mean, it's, it's not supposed to be. Now, the state, under the constitution, has the residual legislative competence to enact criminal laws. The state has the legislative competence to enact its own criminal procedure laws. So why would the evidence be on the exclusive list? Trial within trial is time consuming. It's not only consuming the time of the prosecutor, is consuming judicial time and it's an extra burden on the court. So I agree with my learned, I mean the learned said. But my only fear is how do we approach it? As rightly said, we cannot legislate on it. We cannot because it didn't come by legislation. It's a practice that evolves over time. And I believe, in my own opinion, if we apply the relevant laws, the Evidence Act, the Administration of Criminal Justice Law, if we apply them the way they ought to be applied, with time, trial within trial, we'll say bye bye to us if we will not want to say bye bye to it. Talking about video recording of confessional statements, how many of these police play stations have constant power and supply? How many of them even have these video coverage uh, facilities? So if these are lacking, the only, the only other alternative is to probably suggest that maybe, all right, the, the relative of the, of the suspect could bring in facilities to do the coverage of the uh, video, video, uh, yes. we, are, we are inviting corruption again. So they must work within the law and work within what the law has provided them to work with. We should rather cry out, to the sector's concern to provide adequate facilities. Generally, I would say that what we need to make all these things work well is attitudinal change, particularly from lawyers. It has become a common and almost daily experience on the bench that there are cases when uh, defendants will want to say, oh, all right, I did wrong or defendants in criminal matters who want to say, yes, I did it, I'm sorry. But the lawyer, because he's considering his fee or fee, will say, don't do it. It is not good for the profession. 
we are all members of the same family in the course of administration of justice. We need to collaborate with ourselves and help the system to work. No matter how grammar that is spoken here today, if we do not change our attitude, things will not go well. On behalf of the Honorable Chief Judge of Lagos State, Honorable And that's the program this week. If you missed any part of it, you can watch it again via our YouTube channel. you also find past episodes of the program on the channel. I'm Shola Shieli. Many thanks for watching.